So everyone talks about swells. Um, they are good in certain situations, but when you have relatively flat land and uh, you want holding capacity, berms are the best way to uh, hold that water because you can hold volume. This would be essentially a swell. And it holds water in this aspect. <clears throat> but along this ridge is a berm that keeps it from falling off this four and a half, five foot difference in elevation to down there. This lower area is surrounded by a berm all the way around. And then has this slope on the north side and a road on the west side that has no standing water. But it captured a hell of a lot more water than this swell. But it percolated and it was spread across surface area. Surface area and spread gets you infiltration. This will infiltrate, but it will be in a highly concentrated area. <clears throat> Um, this is actually an irrigation ditch, but it will, it works the same as a swell, which is fed by a pond, which this area has a swell right here that is fed by an irrigation ditch that overruns a pond, which has ducks, which then goes through this pipe under a road, drops off and feeds a lower area with flood irrigation. And it does the same on that side where I split the bottom part. This area again um, is surrounded by a berm, which would be um, along this slope here. There's another slope. This is property has three terraces. <clears throat> and what you have is any swell or low-lying area it captures water and holds it but it doesn't allow for the speed of infiltration on torrential rains and on torrential rains that's what you need this low-lying area which is a flood irrigated field was full of water but there's no standing water because it all percolated and infiltrated this is a, a slope that has a berm. Again, most would put a swell along here, but it doesn't spread your water. This has been laser leveled, that has been laser leveled. This has not been laser leveled, and this has been laser leveled partly. And you notice the difference. Because every place that's surrounded with a berm has infiltration versus where on a swell, that can't spread the surface water, you get standing water. That's good in the immediate area, but it also, on high water uh, events, the vegetation in the bottom of this well will die off or uh, is drastically reduced because of uh, the standing of water. Up here is another terraced area. This one overflowed because I'm putting in water lines. But this is sloped with a half a percent slope and is has a berm by the road. <clears throat> this would have been full of water um, if it didn't break through the berm at the water line where I'm digging up the water line. But these fields, this field will turn into this without any disking or plowing, just throwing seeds out. This field <clears throat> um, held all the water and percolated it in. And we probably had um, 
a three and a half inch rain and then a an additional inch rain after that and this field here um, held all the water surrounded by a berm you have a berm here along the lower side a berm here splitting the fields a berm along this side and a berm along the north side <clears throat> if it didn't have the berms it wouldn't have the water holding capacity no swells just berms and um, what happens is this field had three inches of water across the entire field which you can't do that which just swells and berms along the contour lines you have to split them running against the contour lines perpendicular to the uh, contour lines in order to get your holding capacity if not your water flows horizontally and laterally um, when you do it this way and you can see the difference no standing water it's all percolated and infiltrated and you got ground cover to shade the ground to hold the moisture on this flood event it was a one, one in a hundred year event and my property held all the water <clears throat> and uh so you'll get full use of it if it had a swell here and an overflow then you would have all your water would have ran hit the berm in the swell found a low spot dropped and kept moving down the property here the water hit the berm spread evenly and stopped moving that's the difference and you can see this has been grazed many times since oh probably around august of last year um and it's with hot wire i graze cows and goats together this field will look like this which will look like the next this has just been planted with native grasses wildflowers and lettuce and uh, you can see they start out like this when i laser level other than that it becomes a a uh, just a pretty much native field laser level turn the dirt powder the hand sow seeds walk away this field here is a little older is a little newer than this one and this one's a little newer than that one and the grass is crazy good and the weeds and wildflowers which you can see here It has a, a berm right here that keeps the water from moving east and west because this field is a little higher than this field and this field's a little higher than that field and so on and so forth until we get to the end of the property. So if you were just doing swells on contour, you would have water that would eventually make it all the way to the end of the property and then it has to run out here when you do it this way water doesn't have to run you can handle almost any flood event with just berms laser level the land if you can afford it if not put a berm both on contour and um, against contour and you'll hold a ton of water.